Hi, good morning, and welcome to Monday Minutes with Kelly and Jesse. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to show you a new feature again in 1905 that allows you to email your patrons from a customized notice. This is super exciting. When we announced that this was a possibility, it was a bit buggy, which we figured out pretty quickly, sent it along to the community. It was patched, and now it is in a future release of Koha, which a lot of partners already have. So this is awesome. Kudos to the fast working um, developers that made this happen for us, because this is a big deal. And getting it in the point release. And getting the point release, yeah. yeah. So what really this boils down to, Jesse, is that I can take um, a report of patrons who I want to separately email, email outside of the overdue process, and create an email template and take that list of patrons with that email template and send them an email whenever I want. Yeah, I mean, so many great examples here of, of, of options that you can do. The one we're gonna show you today is, you know, let's say you just wanna contact some of your patrons that have large fines. You know, they've been charged that overdue and, you know, maybe they just forgot and you wanna notify them. You can create a report, run a notice that you customize and then send that to them. Another great one that somebody has asked about is, you know, maybe you send out a notification to your patrons that they have a hold that's waiting for pickup. It sits on the shelf for seven days before it's returned to shelf. You know, some people forget. You can send out a reminder letting them know, hey, you have a hold ready for pickup. So there's lots of options that you can do here. Right. And prior to this, we did have a plugin that did this same thing. However, the one disadvantage was you only had the ability to create one email template. Right. And if you wanted to create another email template, you'd have to overlay it, save the old one just in case you wanted to send it and create a new one. Now you can create as many templates as you want because they can live in our notices and slips um, tools. So you can have multiple different templates already created um, and just bing, bang, boom, you're done. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start. So the first yeah. thing you're going to want to do is jump into your tools module and come down to your notices and slips. So again, the example we're going to use for you today is we are going to notify all of our patrons that have quote unquote big fines. So what we've done was we have created a notice and slip called big fine, and this is patrons with big fines in the system. So again, we went in from the top and we've created a new notice. Um, and we're going to come down here to email and we're using the template toolkit. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see here we're saying, dear first name, surname, you owe us. And then it's going to give them a total of their fines. Please pay up. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could say, <laughs> we could be a bit nicer if we wanted, but you know, we're just an example. Now, something to note Jesse and I are both template toolkit, you know, baby swimmers. So we're in the shallow end of the template toolkit pool. The first name, surname, and total fines are your column headers of your report. So it's really hard bracket percentage, who knows what that means, the column name, and then percentage hard bracket. And we'll show you that. But that's kind of the sum up of what you have here. So again, if, if you're starting from scratch, you're gonna come down here and say new notice. and select the module you want it in. Now this is also important because we're gonna remind you again, when you're um, creating this process, you need to tell us when we're running that cron job or, or whoever's running the cron job for you, um, the Koha module that it is in. So you're gonna to have to remember again this information, yep. followed by the code. Code, and remember code in Koha, it's all caps, no spaces, no special characters. So you saw ours was big fine, all one word. Um, and just keep it under 10 characters. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have the notice created, Kelly, what's the next thing we're gonna do? Now we're gonna create a report and find all those people with their big fines. Okay, so we've created a report mm -hmm. um, in the system, so we're gonna jump in there and it is going to be in our 48, number 48, here we go. So we've just called this report patrons who owe a lot of money. So we're going to come over here and we'll look at that report first. So here you can see we are just grabbing the borrower number, um, the emails, and the first name, surname, 
in the total fines uh, for that particular um, patron that we're going to notify. So this report, and we're gonna come in here and run it. And remember, this only works through email. So this is only going to email those patrons that have email addresses. Correct. It lets us know the borrower number, which is a mandatory field for um, this function to work, mm -hmm. along with the email, first name and surname. And in this case, we wanna no notify them about their total fines, so we have that total fines available. So again, if you need help um, customizing a report to, to meet the needs of what you want to alert your patrons about, we can absolutely help you. 100%. Obviously, we would. this is a great feature. Setting it up may take a little bit of time, so please let us know. We have great report writers. We have great educators and, you know, Jesse. So um, we definitely can do this. But really, report, notice, and then you submit a ticket and say, this is my report. This is my notice. Run this cron on the first of the month or the 15th of the month or today. Yep. And again, that, that schedule can be whenever you want. So on the back end, that report um, will run by the cron job. The notice will get sent. So now let's take a look at Lima Bean um, and Andrew so you can, you can see what that notice will look like. Um, so here we go. Let's come up to the top. The great thing is, Jesse, is it's like a regular notice. So we can, find, we can find those notices once they've run in their notice tab, just like all the other notices in Koha. Yep, and here you can see right away, Lima Bean um, is blocked because she is over the limit of $78. So now let's go down here, take a look at her notices. And here we can see there's that excessive library fines email that was just sent. Um, dear Lima, <laughs> I'm a bean. Um, you owe us $78. Please pay up. So, um, you know, it's, it is just a great way. Let's pull up Andrews too, so we can see what both of those look like. I think that this has a lot of functionality and flexibility for the users for multitude. I mean, there are special libraries, there are academic libraries, public libraries. Everyone would love to be able to take some information from Koha and send it out outside of the notices, so outside of the overdue process. So this is great. Yeah, this is great. So remember, set that notice up, create the report, and then submit a ticket letting us know um, to run a cron job for you um, and include the information of the notice code, the notice module, and the report number, and we can get it going. And as always, any help we can provide, just let us know. Exactly. This has been amazing. I'm so happy it's been fixed. It's ready to rock and roll. Send us a ticket. We'll help you out. Yeah. <sighs> Well, Jesse, next year, I'll see you next year. Is that what we say? Yeah, we'll see you next year. This is our last Monday Minutes for 2019. <laughs>